Hey, what's going on out there? I'd like to welcome you all to Word of Your Soil. So I'm starting to believe that people don't really follow the trends that I have in my videos. If you go back and you watch maybe my last 15 to 20 videos, you'll notice a trend. The videos usually relate back to credit card debt. Now recently I was reading money.com and I came across an article that stated that this was the first year in over a decade that credit scores have stayed put. They didn't go up. The national average for credit scores is currently at a 716 and it didn't go up. And this is the first time in over a decade that credit scores didn't rise. If you ask me, that's a problem. It's a major problem. And it's something that I address on here. And I only think this problem is going to get worse. Like 716 is a pretty good national average for credit scores. But if you ever pulled up a map, of credit scores throughout the United States, you will notice that up north the credit scores are usually higher and down south the credit scores are usually much lower. So the averaging of credit scores gets leveled out. You know, I prefer median in any type of math, but with the national average being 716, that's a pretty decent score. But you have to also think about the credit scores that are currently in the 600s, also the 500s as well. Now, we're not heading towards a good place when it comes to credit scores. And I'm going to be honest with you all. We are in trouble. The reason why we are in trouble, like, yeah, recently student loans were forgiven up to 10000 for federal and 20000 for Pell Grants. So that's a good amount removed. But for everyone, everyone's student loans didn't get removed. And with that comes payments are starting back up in January 2023. So me personally, I'm expecting credit scores to start taking a dip because you figure for the last two and a half to three years, credit scores have been going up because people had extra money. They weren't paying on their student loans. You figure people also had stimulus checks. You figure some people in some businesses even had PPP loans. So there was money out there for people. Some people even had unemployment where they were making more on unemployment than they were receiving from their job. So some people were able to pay down and chop down their debt, which in return helps their credit score. Because I always tell my subscribers that your credit score is based on how well you manage your debt, AKA how well you manage the accounts that you do have. So with all those things combined, people were able to pay down debt. Their student loans were in forbearance. So a lot of people weren't making student loan payments. And even those who were, they were only paying down principal. So it was chopping down their student loan debt. So credit scores were on the rise, but with things being the way they are right now and the economy Economy trending the way that it is right now and the fact that people are gonna have to start paying back on their student loans that they do have left over in January 2023 we are headed somewhere where I think a lot of people will be in trouble when it comes to credit scores because everyone is not gonna be able to keep up with managing their accounts aka their debt so that will more than likely have a trickle-down effect when it comes to credit score. So this is why I like to tell people to stay out of credit card debt because as I always tell my subscribers, credit card debt is a silly debt. It's avoidable. Stay out of credit card debt. That way you can worry about the other debt that you do have and in return that helps your credit score on the back end. But if you're steady spending money that you don't have and you know you're not gonna be able to pay back, it's just gonna create more credit card debt. And credit card debt is at an all time high and it's only going to continue to grow because as I stated in my previous video, people are using credit cards to compensate for not having income coming in. And that's never a good thing. You should only use credit cards when you know that you can pay off whatever you spend, whether it's a thousand dollars or it's five thousand or it's ten thousand. Whatever it is you spend on a credit card, make sure you do have the funds available to pay off and pay back whatever you spend. But anyways, this is Word of Your Soil. I appreciate you all for watching. If you're new here and you're feeling the vibe over here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on all notifications. That way you don't miss a future video. Also, to all of you who are watching, new, old, subscribers, not subscribed, be sure to hit the like button because the algorithm loves the like button. That helps the videos get circulated. So hit the like button. I appreciate you all for watching. This is Water Your Soil, and I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. 
Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. That way you can have all the credit resources from Water Your Soil. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, all right?